Right, I've got a couple of really excellent pieces of equipment to show you this evening and it's two meters uh, made by the same company, Uni-T. I've got one of their multimeters that I've had for many years now and it hasn't let me down once. They're a very good company and they make some excellent stuff. And both these meters are excellent for use around the home and workshop. So the one on the right hand side here is the Uni-T UT383 and it's a mini light meter. It's great for photography but it's also great for checking lighting in the workshop. And I actually found out many years ago that um, having poor lighting in a workshop is a great disadvantage. I got into looking at various different um, lighting um, situations in a workshop and because I was doing video work I got the best LED um, flood lighting I could um, just for the fact of doing the videos but it's also improved my vision within the workshop considerably. And these days you don't have to spend a lot of money on floodlights or whatever. You can get um, a vast array of different LED lights that are very low cost now. And I've got some that are just 30 watts and they light up the shed and lathe perfectly. Plus I've put up my own individual um, lights, LED lights with um, singular LED bulbs uh, which are directional and I can actually shine directly onto my buffing wheel, the grinding wheel, the lathes and the bench area. So you can see here that both these units have the same housing and they actually do make another meter as well. It's a wind speed meter that also shares the same housing. Obviously these have different electronic components and the different head and they do two different versions of each of these meters um, this is just the ordinary one and then there's the next model up which has a bluetooth um, function so you can actually record it the readings onto your phone or whatever um, this sound meter is the bluetooth version so be aware of that if you're buying any of these meters if you want the bluetooth um, function then go for that one the ordinary version of these uh, units are only about £12 each. They're really low cost and they're excellent quality. They're made of a tough ABS type plastic. The battery compartment is on the back here. It doesn't come with batteries so you have to put your own in there. Three AAA batteries and it has a nice um, compartment door which clicks home nicely. And they obviously come with a set of um, instructions. The light meter came in English instructions and the sound meter was um, all in Chinese. I don't know whether there was an English one left out of the box or whatever, but they're all self-explanatory on the actual controls and easy to use. So if you look on the Banggood listing for this light meter, they have an excellent page with the common photo metric reference tables for various different rooms and working conditions. So it has the recommended lighting for a meeting room or reception room, paperwork, typing or drafting room, visual work in a production line, public place or bathroom, exhibition window or wrapping station, a classroom, and then a lab, library or study room. So obviously this is the light sensor here and switch on with this button on this side, a bit of a hold on that one and the lighting reading comes up immediately. You have a maximum and minimum hold then you have Lux and FC and FC stands for foot candles and Lux measures the same thing really it's the amount of visible light that falls on the surface the difference is that the foot candle uses the imperial standard measuring system feet pounds etc while the Lux uses the metric system 
meters, grams, etc. And the conversion is one foot candle equals 10.764 lux. And everything is specified in lux these days, so I just keep it in that mode. So on the bottom right hand side of the unit, I have a button here which says hold and BL. This is a button with two functions, obviously. A short press holds the measurement and then another short press exits the hold measurement and continues with normal measurement then a long press of this button lights up the backlight display on the um, liquid crystal display and then a long press again turns off that light and that works really well um, in low light to actually um, illuminate that display obviously you can't see it in this room because the lights are too bright and then on the left hand side here again we have the maximum and minimum button so if you press maximum it'll always hold the maximum reading no matter where you go with it so you can actually search out the um, lightest place of a given area or you can actually put it into minimum and go around and find the actual darkest place in a given room or area and I'll show you that um, in the minimum mode. So you can see the reading there at the moment. And then if I cover up the light meter a bit and take that away, it holds that reading. And then if I covered up the light meter altogether, it'll go down to the next reading and hold that and that's a really excellent function for like I say finding the lightest or darkest areas in a given room or area and then just press that one again to go back to the normal readings So the sound meter or noise level meter not only shares the same type of housing, it has the same type of functions on the four buttons here. You have the on off, the maximum and minimum button, the hold data button and backlight button. And then you have a button here which says fast and slow and this refers to the sampling rate of the noise either fast or slow and like i said earlier this one has the bluetooth function so you can actually rig it up to the um, bluetooth on your phone or your tablet or whatever and then record the readings and see them on that display and with a noise level meter like this one it is well worth having the bluetooth function because you can actually see the display on your phone or tablet then and record all the data um, for use at a later date just for an example you might have a noisy neighbor um, say if you live in a flat and they're playing loud music or whatever you can actually record those readings and then submit that as evidence at a later date and if you look on the Banggood listing for this one, you can actually download the app from there and you can also see a picture there what it looks like on a smartphone. And just to show you this noise level meter working, I'll switch it on and do a maximum hold on the actual sound so it's actually recording the sound of my voice the actual noise of my voice which is 69.6 decibels and I am speaking a little bit louder for the actual video um, that comes in as noisy on the graph on the um, Banggood listing site. There's an um, actual diagram there to show you the different decibels from silence to causing great damage to hearing. And you can actually have a look at that um, graph. I'll do another screenshot of that one.
and I see on that one normal conversation is 40 to 60 decibels and finally um, the Bluetooth units have a nice brass um, tripod mount which is the uh, normal standard quarter inch UNC thread that most tripods have so you can uh, mount that one on the tripod also the one with Bluetooth for the light meter has that brass tripod socket as well but this one without the Bluetooth doesn't have the um, tripod socket so if you actually want the tripod socket, make sure you get the Bluetooth version of these two um, units. So the Bluetooth unit with the brass tripod mount is just a few more pounds more expensive than the um, standard one without the Bluetooth. Um, but it's still under £20 and uh, excellent value for money. They're really good quality and I'm really pleased with these units.